Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Jay Campbell. Hunter Williams. We are here making another video. If you're paying attention to the channel and his channel, we're doing a lot of stuff together here in 2024 to maximize and optimize our YouTube presence. So today's video is our favorite peptide to build muscle. You know, actual fucking muscle. Not like the people Real muscle. that have no muscle. <laughs> on you know instagram and youtube you know it'd be a good video one day if shirts. we could do is the influencer challenge like all the people that are have huge followings let's do the uh shirtless take influencer the shirt challenge. off influencer yeah. challenge to actually see who is. talks to talk and walks the walk all right so our favorite peptide for building muscle without question this is an easy answer uh you know we may get a little bit of debate some people will push back but for sure it's tessa morella and the reason that tessamorelin is our favorite uh, peptide for building muscle is because it really is a sham wow peptide. It's a GH agonist. Uh, it's responsible for enhancing uh, growth hormone production, uh, deep polyphasic and restorative sleep. It's, you know, number one thing that most people know it for that have used it is its ability to tear through abdominal fat, right? I mean, this is a drug that has been approved by the FDA. It's uh, trade name is Agrifta. And it's literally created for gay men, or I shouldn't say gay men, but men that HIV, have HIV, yeah. which is normally in the gay male population. But there are a lot of obviously straight people that do have HIV. But for th this is where it got the rounds and the quote unquote gray market. And, you know, back in the day, and, you know, it was for guys that were suffering for HIV, most of those guys were gay. And they created this drug to solve or to tear through what is called lipodystrophy, which is this massive accumulation of hard visceral body fat right in the center mass in the trunk region. And again, this kind of fat, it comes from the medications that they're taking being diagnosed with HIV. And it causes this really terrible, like I said, congealed, very, very, you know, like fascial adhesion fat. And it's very difficult to get through it. And so this drug, when they discovered it, it was, it was originally, I think a Merck orphan drug. It tears through abdominal fat. So it's like amazing for men who are into anti-aging and biohacking who have too much belly fat. And, you know, Hunter and I have been using it for a long time. I started using it, I think, when Ryan Smith gave it back to me back in 2017. And then, of course, I started writing about it in my books back in 2018 and 2019. But the reason it's such a great peptide for building muscle is because when you use it in combination with ipamorelin, you get the combination of the GNR and the GRH. And both of them are going to stack very synergistically. And obviously we, you know, we would be fools knowing who we both are talking always about therapeutic testosterone that to say that to truly build muscle in a world-class way with this peptide, you obviously got to be hormonally optimized. Talk about that. Yeah. Well, that's one thing a lot of people ask us all the time. What's the best muscle building peptide? Like Jay said, it's testmorelin. However, you will probably get like 15% of its full capacity if your testosterone levels are not optimized. Right. So growth hormone and testosterone work very, very synergistically together. A lot of people have shown like the more growth hormone you have, the more <laughs> testosterone works. And the more testosterone you have, the more growth hormone works. So when you have those together and you can use growth hormone or you can use a growth hormone peptide like Tesmorella. So when you have both of those pathways optimized, they work synergistically together to create anabolism, to create fat loss, and to give you a really good overall sense of well-being. I think one of the most powerful parts of Tesmorella for muscle building actually comes in its ability to help you sleep. So I have noticed the deepest sleep I've ever gotten, and this is even compared to growth hormone itself, the yeah. nectar of the gods, growth hormone, <laughs> I think testosterone is still better at night if you take it for sleep. So like Jay said, it's really powerful. And I've done this before, uh, experimented, experimented myself with taking uh, ipamorelin or regular growth hormone in the morning and then testosterone at night. Yeah. And I really like that combo because you get the lipolysis from like the ipamorelin or growth hormone. Obviously, growth hormone is going to be stronger, but then you get the sleep from the testmorelin. And what's really cool, I almost think that like, not that you would do this all the time, because obviously you're going to get an antibody buildup to testmorelin after like six or eight weeks, but using testmorelin with pharmaceutical grade growth hormone is like using HCG to testosterone. Right. So it kind of helps boost all of the natural pathways. And then you're getting an exogenous like bump from the growth hormone, which you can take all year because it's, you know, endogenous to the body and it's not a peptide like tessamorelin. Uh, so I really like that synergy, but to go back to the muscle building effects, I noticed when my sleep is better. I feel better. I have more energy. I'm better in the gym. I have more stamina in the gym and that's going to allow me to recover faster and all these things. So it's not that tessamorelin is going to go into my bicep muscle and make the bicep muscle <laughs> grow, but by stimulating my pituitary to produce more growth hormone and getting that growth hormone to the highest level, 
possible in my body is going to help me burn more fat when I'm doing my cardio. It's going to help with muscle protein synthesis after I, after my training. It's going to help me with uh, glucose disposal when I am eating carbs after my training to help shuttle those carbs to get the protein into the muscle. Um, so it's amazing. And if you can get real test morelin, which a lot of the research companies are selling now, because we know some of them aren't, I won't name names, but if you can get real test morelin, it's an amazing thing to take. And you just have to make sure you cycle it because, you know, like we said, after four, six, eight weeks, you're going to get antibody buildup, which kind of sucks because like the first week you take it is like, Bam, wow. like it's so powerful. And then you notice it just kind of loses a little bit of potency um, over time. But um, I love it. And I think it's something like everybody should take, especially men, but it also works really well for women. Too, yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, he said a lot of things, uh, you know, just to wrap it up and make this a short video, like, cause you know, people are going to ask us, Jay, Hunter, what are the dose? What's the dosage? You didn't tell us what the dosage is. The standard dose for Tessa Morellin is one milligram AM and one milligram PM. Now for women, it's probably one milligram. And, I, and and again, as you and I will always counsel people, uh, it's better if you're taking one milligram of testosterone to take it at night. Again, mm -hmm. to to yep. because of the improved restorative and polyphasic sleep, which is again, the, the deepest levels of sleep, the REM levels. Uh, but to not forget, because again, you know, people get confused. You're not going to build muscle regardless of what anabolic agent you take, whether it's therapeutic testosterone, growth hormone, tessamorelin, ipamorelin. And, and by the way, all three of those things, tessa growth and testosterone together, as he said, are the ultimate combination to build muscle. But the only way you're going to build muscle is with a surplus of calories, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like we always have to, you know, temper everybody's enthusiasm and tell you there's no magic bullets or agents and there's no fat loss or ripping drugs or At muscle the same building time. drugs, <laughs> right? They're any better. Everything is relative yeah. to caloric intake, right? So it's like if you want to build muscle, well, yeah, we recommend you use testosterone and testosterone and growth hormone. And if you can only, you know, do, do two of those um, together and you can't get growth hormone, then just use test and testosterone. But again, it's relative to your food intake. So if you are a average bodybuilder slash physique uh, enthusiast or performance enhancement enthusiast, biohacker, aging biohacker, and you are at 15% body fat and you want to gild muscle, then guess what? You're going to add a little bit of body fat, right? So how do we do this? We're not getting into a, you know, a dietary uh, diatribe here in this video, but you're going to eat above maintenance and a normal place to eat above maintenance to start to add muscle is somewhere between 12 and 20% caloric intake above whatever your maintenance intake. Jay, Hunter, how do I figure out my maintenance intake? That's pretty simple too. We normally just tell you to take whatever your body weight is and times it by 15 and then go up above. Depending on your body type, your somatotype, are you a mesomorph, endomorph, ectomorph? You can scale that, right? If you're a mesomorph and you're a super muscular person, you can probably eat higher than 15 calories per pound. If you're an endomorph and you're a naturally fat, heavier set person, you can't because you're going to gain more fat than you're going to gain muscle. So that's simple. We're going to wrap this up again. Tessa Morellin, one milligram AM, one milligram PM at night. If you're a man, if you're a woman, one grill, one milligram at night before you go to bed. As Hunter said, combine it with low dose uh, growth hormone. Again, pharmaceutical grade, not bodybuilder bro growth hormone, but like genotropin or nortotropin or either, you know, there's other pharmaceutical growth hormone approximations out there. And if before you ask that, you know, we like one IU to 1.5 IUs to two IUs. A lot of people will split a couple IUs up a day. This is not bodybuilding we're talking about. We're obviously talking about anti-aging and life extension. So again, low doses. Start low, go slow, assess your tolerance. But again, that tessamorelin in combination with growth hormone or in combination with ipamorelin with above maintenance caloric intake is going to build muscle better than anything else. Yeah, 100%. Like Jay said, it's got to be calories. Most of the time, you know, especially a lot of women, they don't realize what a caloric surplus actually means. And you will not be able to take a peptide and think that you're just going to magically build muscle. Yeah. You know, this time of year, we're usually eating this around the holidays. So we're usually eating a little bit more. And it's always amazing to me because a lot of times we're like cycling throughout the year. We're in, you know, fasting, we're doing 30 days of shreds and we're in a caloric deficit. It's amazing to me the amount of growth that takes place, you know, all growth hormone peptides, anabolics aside, when I just have more calories, it's yeah. crazy how much of a difference that makes. You got to remember that. And, you know, a lot of these, I'll say men and women, but a lot of women, they have this like fear in their head of like, carbs. oh, carbs are going to kill me. And I can't like any sort of carbs. I'm just going to put on water. And then they just never put on in muscle because they're so scared to eat in a caloric surplus. The great thing about using testimonial is it's going to help you build muscle, but it also works to help shuttle those carbs yeah. into the muscle more efficiently. So I would say as long as you're training and doing cardio, right, put yourself in a caloric surplus, it's almost impossible to get fat when you're taking testimonial. Yeah. 100%, especially around this time of the year. So look, we're going to wrap this down. 
if this kind of information is important to you and you enjoy you know, receiving and listening to this kind of information, I highly recommend you join my email list, which has close to 25,000 people getting this type of information every single day. Well, sometimes not on Sundays, but it's a great place to go to get more and more of this information. So we're going to wrap this up. So I'm Jay Campbell. Hunter Williams. See you guys very soon. Take Peace. care.